Coming up, so the EU is projecting a mild Eurozone recession. What does that mean for you? Beats me. Luckily, we're not doing that story. <laughs> Instead, what does this year's toy fair have to share? Nothing. Trust Uncle Greg when he tells you that sharing's for losers, kids. Guests on Red Eye will receive a guided bike tour of Central Park with the Action Brothers, Tex and Les. The Action Brothers have been training together for over 15 years, and their mission is to show you a good time every time. Easy bake ovens, make me pretty Barbie, Betsy Wetsy, a hunting knife. <laughs> Are the playthings of kids today on par with my old favorites? To answer this vaguely stupid question, we sent the journalistic equivalent of a sock monkey over to the Javits Center to see why anyone should care about this year's toy fair. Here's hoping some freakish man-child strangles him with a jump rope. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, hey, America. Welcome to the 2012 toy fair at the Javits Center. Let's go have some fun. We just got at the toy fair, and first things first, I'm gonna get my fabulous on. And the fabulous comes in the form of glitter tattoos. Denise Duncan, tell me about this phenomenon. Awesome. So our glitter tattoos last three to seven days and they're waterproof. Uh oh. <laughs> you have uh, hundreds of colors to choose from, and we have great retail kits that we sell, so you can actually go home and apply the glitter tattoos yourself. Excellent, but isn't it more fun to apply glitter with a partner? It is. Yes. Are you going to let me do a glitter tattoo on you? Please. What are some favorites here? What do we got? Um, some favorites. Popular is always a unicorn. Hearts are very popular. Fairies. Um, I love this one right here. I have this on my hand. Yes, you do. So. Well, I'll tell you something. You had me at unicorn. You had me at unicorn. Voila! You're you. Oh, unicorn. yeah! <sighs> We've got all of the Avengers from the Marvel Universe, including Thor. Hey, Thor, could you be more Aryan? Oh, that's a big no from this blue eyed bastard. You're a bigot. Always nice to see something that was popular when I was a kid, still relevant today. And in this case, we're at the Where's Waldo exhibit. And believe it or not, I found Waldo, and he was really hiding this time. If you scroll down right here, we haven't seen Waldo in a while, but it looks like he's had some surgery. Uh, and I believe he's also on some hormones right now. I support your right to be Wenda, Waldo. You go, girl. Times have changed. Safari LTD has got some awesome figurines over here. Uh, let's see if we can get a comment. Here's a T-Rex. That was always one of my favorites. Mr. T-Rex, what do you think about uh, the current situation with Iran? Well, it just goes to show you that uh, Iran is always going to be Iran. And if Israel wants to be Israel, they're going to have to go in there, guns a-blazing. Well, all right. That's a good point. But aren't you worried about nuclear Armageddon? Nah, I'm already extinct. <laughs> oh, T-Rex. Keep on being paleolithic, brother. Looks like the Tea Party's gotten into the toy business, finally. We have a founding father bobblehead in the form of George Washington, our 21st president. Hey, George, I can't tell a lie either. You're adorable. Yeah. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this particular booth. Apparently, this is a new toy called the Hudson News. And I'll tell you, look at what kids are playing with these days. This is something called The Economist, How to Set Syria Free. Who knew the 10-year-olds would care? And also, we have right here Demi's Desperate Spiral on something called Us Weekly. Apparently, kids are, are very interested in drug-addicted cougars. All right, the 2012 Toy Fair was as awesome as expected. And what I learned was old as new again with all manner of toys that were big when I was a kid. Isn't that right, little sock monkey? It sure is, Bill. Aww. Aww. <laughs> what was the big takeaway from this year's Toy Fair, Bill? My generation's the greatest generation in the history of generations. Oh, really? The stuff I grew up on, My Little Ponies, Transformers, Star Wars, uh, Rainbow Bright, <laughs> all of this stuff is back again. It's huge. It's like it never went away. It was unbelievable.
Mm, like herpes. Yes. Kurt, <laughs> what was your favorite toy when you were growing up? I think it was the exploding Ken doll. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a one-time <laughs> thing, but it prepares your kids for the next Sabbath reunion. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> what about you, PAB? Uh, I imagine your favorite toy was envy or fear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the paint by numbers because you could kind of like make this masterpiece and impress everybody with it and nobody had to know you were cheating. So mm, <laughs> deceitful. Right. A girl would pick something that's kind of educational and constructive. Yes. Like I would actually do this. You know, that's, this makes me sick to my stomach. I hope I never have daughters. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like I have mine. Yes. Uh, Andrew, uh, something tells me you still it. play with toys. I do. Yeah, matches. Those were uh, my <laughs> first pick, and then uh, I found about this this lighter, uh, yeah. several different variations, one that doesn't go out even in the wind, yeah. and that pretty much set me straight. I still play with them today. Uh, so good for outdoor joints. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, outdoor locations, exactly. Mm -hmm. My favorite toy was a slinky, which is what I used to call my mom's old lingerie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that, Kurt. Uh, I was going to say my favorite was Hot Wheels, which is what I called fever blisters. <laughs> <laughs> and I spell wheels, W-E-L-S. <laughs> but I couldn't, af I couldn't afford Silly Putty, so I made my own and called it Angry Putty. <laughs> Angry oh, Putty. No. Oh, okay. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just spreading out the time here. <laughs> All right. Time to take a break, but don't go anywhere because uh, I said so.